Hello guys, how are you all doing? Thank you to all who keep listening to my audio novels, to all those who sent donations and super thanks. Thank you thank you so much. I could not dictate each of you. You know who you are. I am very grateful for all your support. So do enjoy listening to my audio novels. Please subscribe to my channel. Audio novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. I do not translate the novels. Credits goes to original translator and author of the novel. I only make it as an audio book so it would be easier to just listen while doing other things. Credits goes to the author of of the novel. I convert stories to audio book for mental health, for multitasking purpose, for accessibility and time saving. Listening to audio book is also beneficial for people who have disability. It improves our listening skills and improve our English comprehension, vocabulary and other things. So, thank you for listening. Thank you and thank you very much for your support. Chapter 1126 Zhenchang Valley, on original star number 08625, in the vast sky above the ocean, Blood Cloud Palace Master flew through the air at high speed. He wore his Blood Red Battle Robe, Blood Red Mask, and his curved, golden horn. Meanwhile, in his world ring, his original Earthling body was dealing with the loots of his victory. Within his world ring, clad in black armor with a lone horn on his forehead, Luo Feng stood on the vast ground and looked at the loot before him, a true treasure which was pair of gigantic godly hammers, a top tier true treasure which was a piece of simple, unsophisticated armor, a true treasure which took the form of a green seed, and a world ring. Crack them. Luo Feng looked at the true treasures and world ring before him and divided out five streams of godly power at once, of which two went directly into the true treasure godly hammers and two went into the true treasure armor and green seed respectively. The last one went right through the world ring. Peng Luo Feng was not about to waste any effort on the world ring. He forcibly destroyed it right away. A loud bang sounded, followed by a large quantity of materials, valuables, and several true treasures falling from the world ring that broke apart. The scene was like a cluster of fireworks exploding in the sky raining down on the land. In a split second, his surroundings were completely piled with mountains. This sinking fire master was really one unique character, collecting these few true treasures and branding each and every one with a life imprint. Even those valuables, more than half of them were branded with life imprints. Luo Feng shook his head. <laughs> his godly power was further divided into more streams which dashed for those true treasures and valuables to penetrate them. The impact of his godly power was continuously felt. It had been said that with true skills, one could mold a thick metal rod into a fine sewing needle. With brute force, he cracked open the imprints. One after another, he continued, until finally, with his godly power, he completed the cracking of all the imprints. One of his bodies took the identity of Blood Cloud Palace Master an ancient existence known to the vast universe, and roamed the original star-seeking adventures. The other body was working hard at cracking all those life imprints of the true treasures and valuables that were Luo Feng's winnings. What great satisfaction, he murmured. Cool. Luo Feng felt a deep satisfaction that came from the bottom of his heart. When he first set foot off Earth and entered the universe, feeling jittery and frightened, he had spent his efforts striving and fighting. Every moment had been filled with pressure, and he always felt as though he could never gain control of his own destiny, much less control or guard the fate of his fellow earthlings. Until now, when Liu Feng had finally gained a foothold for himself. Throughout the universe, I may not be the strongest, he said. Universe supreme beings are all much stronger than I am. Those who were comparable to me were aplenty. They were all universe masters at the pinnacle level. Even though, with star tower, I may at most be comparable to them. But at least, I am ranked within the pinnacle list of this vast universe. Joy abounded deep in his heart. Setting foot on this path of a great being, was it not all for the sake of seeking greater freedom, for the foothold he had now? My battle records this time round indicate the truth of what Primal Chaos City Teacher has said, that I have become a universe master. Luo Feng continued to forcibly crack those life imprints as he waited expectantly. I believe, thought Luo Feng, 
After Hong Alliance's internal discussion, very soon, I will be qualified to become a palace master of the Hong Alliance Palace. By then, just as Hugh Jack's creator promised earlier, the day will come when I can sit alongside them. That will be the day I can claim back planet Earth. After an endless fight, 180 million years soon, the other great beings all felt that Liu Feng had only undergone around 100,000 years of cultivation, yet, the amount of time that Liu Feng had personally experienced was, in fact, 180 million years. If one's willpower was not strong enough, such long years would only bring one to a mental breakdown and ruination. Puh, puh, puh. The life imprints of the treasures were continuously cracked and cleared, one after the other. After a short moment, the life imprints of the ordinary true treasures were also continuously cracked and cleared, one after the other. Soon, even the life imprint of the one and only senior true treasure found in the lot was cleared. After a good half an hour or so, upon consuming a tremendous amount of godly power, the pair of gigantic godly hammers and the top tier armor were completely cracked. Not a single item here belongs to Sinking Fire Master anymore. Liu Feng carefully looked through the loot and concluded that all that was obtained from Sinking Fire Master had been completely laundered. Huh? Liu Feng's gaze came to rest on a mountain where a tremendous amount of materials were piled up. His godly power immediately locked down on one of the objects among the lot a piece of a purple crystal pillar that was slowly floating upward. The entire crystal pillar was filled with diagrams of secret engravings. It was faintly different from the rest, and the diagrams confirmed Liu Feng's doubts. Zhenchang Valley? Liu Feng frowned, then laughed. My luck is not that bad after all. During the opening of the original stars, the Disambiguation Temple was one of the greatest treasures that had appeared. However, there was quite a handful of treasures that were one notch lower than the Disambiguation Temple, one of which was Blade River Luo, whose birth was already completed. There were also some treasure temples that might have shown up but had yet to open up. The Disambiguation Temple was one that had yet to open its doors. And Zhenchang Valley was also a place with hidden treasures. Although it had appeared, it had not opened. Luo Feng also knew of such information. So he recognized the crystal pillar as a token of Zhenchang Valley with one look. It was said that there was a total of nine tokens and when the births of all nine tokens were completed, Zhenchang Valley would officially open. Only those with the tokens were allowed to enter Zhenchang Valley. Otherwise, no entry was allowed. While the original earthling body in the world ring was cracking life imprints and found the token of Zhenchang Valley. Blood Cloud Palace Master was flying about in a disorderly manner, fleeing to another original star as he was being pursued in a frenzy. At this point, news of Sinking Fire Master's body being killed was fast spreading out to the higher ups of various top powers of the universe. Sinking Fire Master's Nine Huo body has been killed, and his true treasure was taken away. Sinking Fire Master has already released the news saying that Blood Cloud Palace Master's power is now much stronger than it was three million years ago, and he has changed his true treasure weapon to a true treasure long shuttle. Even Sinking Fire Master cannot fight him off. We must be vigilant, and if we are not confident of surviving, we had better not fight Blood Cloud Master alone. Therefore, Universe Masters decided to move about mostly in twos and threes. Of course, there were still some who went after Blood Cloud Palace Master alone. They either had humongous godly bodies, true treasure armor that was extremely strong, or flying palace type true treasures. Some who were universe masters already ranked in the pinnacle list. In short, only those who were extremely confident dared to act as individuals. Going after me, Liu Feng was speeding through the air as he laughed out loud. Every original star has a total of 10,081 space whirlpools that allow me to change my route in any way I like. Even if the universe top powers were to each send out several universe masters, how many could they come up to? Besides, all of them were not strong enough to stop me at all. In the name of his battle to fame plan, Luo Feng allowed Blood Cloud Palace Master to come out of hiding and wander about leisurely. On the one hand, he could test the power of this supreme true treasure. Secondly, Blood Cloud Palace Master's presence served as a good diversion. 
the three alliances would grow so infuriated that their attention would be diverted away from Liu Feng. After all, compared to Blood Cloud Palace Master, killing Liu Feng was merely an internal fight among the four pinnacle races. Blood Cloud Palace Master was the true cause for the rage felt by the various powers of the universe. Goal achieved, Liu Feng mumbled under his breath. Time to return to my god country. How do I make my way back? All this time, Liu Feng had been flying about in a spontaneous manner. There were times when he was near a whirlpool tunnel that led to the outside world, yet he did not go through it, as he understood that such an obvious route would likely lead him straight into the ambush set by a great being just outside the whirlpool tunnel. Just as Liu Feng was thinking about how he should leave the original star to return to his god country, he arrived at the Whirlpool Tunnel. Liu Feng stepped right through it without a second thought. Blood Cloud Palace Master, don't you dare escape. Blood Cloud Palace Master, take up my challenge if you have the guts. Three Universe Masters had been hot on his heels, but they were too far behind to stop him. Most unwillingly, they watched Liu Feng make his escape into the next original star. Original star number 08605. Original star number 08605. Liu Feng had just stepped into this vast universe when he caught sight of six far away figures. They were actually less than 60 million miles away from him. The leader of the group was a distorted, dark void while the other five towering figures all exuded extraordinary auras. Liu Feng recognized them at first glance. The Northern Territory Alliance, Blood Cloud Palace Master. All six figures all seemed to shout at the same time. Ha ha ha. One of them laughed. Blood Cloud Palace Master. We were just preparing to head over to the other original star to hunt you down. To think you actually came running here on your own. Now we meet. We just got lucky, said another. Blood Cloud Palace Master, what a route you have chosen, to run into our path so coincidentally. You have been hopping around different original stars, and we are also changing routes all the time. Now, we finally run into one another. These six universe masters of the Northern Territory Alliance would not be easy to handle. Along the way, these universe masters had been constantly receiving information stating that Blood Cloud Palace Master had made his way to a certain original star, or that Blood Cloud Palace Master had just moved on to another original star. The speed of change was extremely fast. Of course, this naturally led to the six universe masters of the Northern Territory Alliance having to constantly change their routes. After all, it would be futile for them to always be chasing him from behind, they would never have been able to catch up. Instead, they had to intercept from the front, but to do so, they need luck. There were simply too many space whirlpools, no one knew which one Liu Feng would go to. Just a slight change in direction would make a great difference in distance. Liu Feng could not be bothered with those voices. The six universe masters before him, five of them might be quite powerful and well known, but with Star Tower in his hands, they were no threat to him. What truly caught his attention was the leader of the group the Dark Void Life Form. Star Riven Master? Liu Feng spoke up. Blood Cloud Palace Master, the Dark Void transmitted a voice in acknowledgement. You and I, for the first time, we meet face to face. Twice previously, I hunted you, but each time I got to you, you escaped. This time, I have had better luck. I actually ran into you, what <laughs> all at once. Endless starlight enshrouded the entire original star while a powerful force bound all corners together by enveloping the area. This was none other than a top tier domain type true treasure. You can forget about escaping, the looming, dark void said. I heard from Sinking Firemaster that you are very powerful. I would like to see for myself. If you are able to escape from me alive, my guess is, you should still be able to make your escape from our siege this time. Liu Feng looked on from afar but maintained his vigilance because, Star Riven Master's reputation aside, in terms of power, status, and reputation, he was not any inferior to Liu Feng's teacher, Primal Chaos City Leader. 
This was definitely one of the top ranking individuals on the list of universe masters, even a universe supreme being would have been unable to tackle Star Riven Master. All these facts were evidence of his astonishing prestige of a top ranking universe master. Chapter 1127, Star Riven Master. However, this is how I can see the gap between me and the pinnacle universe masters. Aggression was burning in Luo Feng's heart and he gazed at the leader in the distance. He completely ignored the other five universe masters. He only had eyes for Star Riven Master. You're not running, came a voice from the dark void. Luo Feng gazed at his opposition. Neither are you, ha ha ha. A guffaw came out of the dark void. Interesting, no wonder almost everyone in the universe wants you dead. You're indeed bold and arrogant. Stop talking, Luo Feng yelled and his eyes glinted fiercely. If you want to fight, fight me now. Time's precious. He was replacing his teacher sitting mountain guest as Blood Cloud Palace leader, so he needed to be qualified. Blood Cloud Palace leader was a wicked and rampant being roaming the universe. Blood Cloud Palace leader, you live up to your reputation. All of a sudden, an arm-shaped substance extended out of the dark void and a mace-shaped true treasure weapon appeared in the hand. At the same time, another arm-shaped substance showed up. This hand also held a mace-shaped weapon. Both maces were bronze, and the periphery was gold. This true treasure of mine is named Kun Yi, and it's a top-tier pinnacle true treasure, said Star Riven Master. Top-tier pinnacle true treasure? thought Luo Feng. Luo Feng understood that there were gaps even between valuables at the same level. The true treasure Star Riven Master was using now was only second to supreme true treasures, and it must have been as powerful as the mace-type weapons that Double Face Ancestral God had been using. His status was self-explanatory based on the true treasure he was using. The other five Universe Masters spread out without meddling. They believed in the power of Star Riven Master. Take three attacks, said Star Riven Master. If you can, I won't stop you. Here's the first move. Star Riven Master started to move right after he said. He raced toward Liu Feng like a black phantom. Come on. Liu Feng dashed toward him holding the shuttle and shouted, Blood Light. Liu Feng's godly body surged to 6,000 miles tall and he performed his most powerful technique. His burning godly power flooded the shuttle. The shuttle twisted the space around it and formed whirlpools. The power was so strong that the other five universe masters were intimidated. Star Riven Master held the maces, which looked like bolts of lightning. Pi, pa. Two black beams of light gushed forth and hit the shuttle. The black void holding the two godly maces bounced away and Liu Feng stepped back. This is the first move. Screen. The maces emanated powerful energy. I've looked down upon you. After all, it's only an ultimate technique of universe masters, and it's not enough to suppress you. I can tell that you're a pinnacle universe master. Take my second move. It's a supreme technique of universe masters created by me. As the voice went into Liu Feng's mind. Star Riven Master started to move again. The Black Phantom charged at him. Hong, long, long. The maces turned the space into darkness. A miniature universe? Luo Feng was shocked. It looked like a miniature universe, but there were some differences. Hong, the maces smashed toward Luo Feng like two worlds. Break. Luo Feng growled. He raced toward the maces and the shuttle of Star Tower also stabbed toward the maces. Peng. Luo Feng felt his body trembling, and the shock waves hit his force armor. However, the power was neutralized by his force armor. Luo Feng dove away from the shock wave. This is the first ultimate technique of universe masters I created, Black Knight said Star Riven Master. It seems that the shuttle in your hands is also a pinnacle true treasure. Otherwise, you would only be at a slight disadvantage. Luo Feng looked at the dark void in the distance. A pinnacle true treasure? What a joke. A race could have many ordinary pinnacle true treasures. As for pinnacle domain type true treasures and pinnacle soul type true treasures, a race might have several. However, a supreme true treasure was superior. The disadvantage he had because of his godly body and techniques were almost made up for by the shuttle of Star Tower. His first move is an ultimate technique of universe masters, 
and his second move is a supreme technique of universe masters. What about the third move? Liu Feng was confused. Could there be a more powerful one? That didn't sound right. Supreme techniques of universe masters should be the best that Star Riven Master could do. You're qualified to take my third move, said Star Riven Master. My supreme move. The other five universe masters collectively held their breath. They transmitted their voices in private. Look, the supreme move of Star Riven Master. We get to see it again. Last time Star Riven Master performed it, he killed a Universe Master in Universe Ocean, and the other two Universe Masters fled. They were all excited, as Star River Master wouldn't perform this move unless it was absolutely necessary. The original star was trapped in darkness again, and a dark power permeated through it. At the same time, a completely different power arose from his maces. The maces started to shine. They were shinier than 10,000 stars combined. One of them was dark, and the other was bright. Hua Luo Feng felt despaired when he handled it. He tried to banish the negative mood. It was not a soul attack, rather, it was an attack so perfect that it could only be ordered and even made its oppositions. Of course, Luo Feng's willpower was strong enough for him to recover from those feelings immediately. He stabbed with his shuttle again. Hong. The space trembled. Hong. 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 The light river hit the shuttle, and the shuttle resisted the river. The shuttle was as stable as a mountain. However, Luo Feng could still feel his godly power trembling even after the power being weakened by his force armor. Luo Feng bounced away beneath that power and he could barely stop in the distance. Everything dissipated. The original star returned to peace again. One five hundredth of my godly body is gone, said Liu Feng. He was astonished. He first used the shuttle to resist that move, and he used Force Armor to withstand it again. However, one five hundredth of his godly body was still gone. If he used Blood Ghost Blade instead of Star Tower, the power would have been two levels more powerful. One attack could destroy 50% of his godly body. He was shocked to his very core, but what he didn't know was that Star River Master was even more shocked. What? Star River Master was terrified. He was already a pinnacle universe master, and he had a supreme technique of universe masters. He had created two supreme techniques of universe masters and had combined the two into one in universe ocean. It looked simple. But it took a long while when he combined the two as one. This attack. This was the move that made him awed by the entire universe, and that meant he did not need to be afraid of universe supreme masters. He'd always known that only a few universe masters in the universe could rival him. A great amount of my godly power was consumed because of that move, but his godly power is hardly gone. Star Riven Master was shocked. He didn't know that Liuo Feng had the supreme true treasure, Star Tower. In addition to his pinnacle true treasure force armor, if Star Riven Master knew that he had failed because of a supreme true treasure, he would have felt relieved. A voice came from Blood Cloud Palace leader in the distance. What is that move? River in Black Knight, said Star Riven Master. Incredible. Impressive, said Blood Cloud Palace leader. Luo Feng really was impressed. He took three moves, and the second move was Black Knight. Luo Feng could tell that the third move. River in Black Knight was a combination of Black Knight and River, and their power led to a tremendous attack. The only supreme technique he knew was I am the universe, and it had been bestowed to him by the universe, he couldn't create any, yet his opposition had created several of them, and he was able to combine them. No wonder, it's Star Riven Master. Luo Feng exclaimed, Go, said Star Riven Master. You're able to take my supreme technique without being severely injured. At the same time, he took back his Star River and flew away. Star Riven Master. Star Riven Master. The other five Universe Masters followed Star Riven Master reluctantly after glancing at Liu Feng. They knew they wouldn't be able to injure Blood Cloud Palace Leader given that he was able to resist the supreme technique of Star Riven Master. And now that Star Riven Master had left, they would follow him as well. Star Riven Master. Luo Feng whispered. He had finally witnessed the top tier universe masters. Su, he disappeared like a streak of light. Chapter 1128, 
fence. A piece of news came when the universe masters were searching for Blood Cloud Palace leader on the original stars. Star Riven Master from the Northern Territory Alliance had fought Blood Cloud Palace leader, and Blood Cloud Palace leader had only suffered from a slight injury even under Star Riven Master's best moves and Star River Master had left voluntarily. All the Universe Masters searching the original stars were shocked. Impossible. Star River Master utilized all his power. Though I could survive that, I would be severely injured. That Blood Cloud Palace leader's power barely changed at all. How can he be that powerful? Did Blood Cloud Palace leader hide in Blood Cloud Palace? No. He withstood the supreme technique of Star River Master. They couldn't believe what they heard. And the more they learned about that fight, the more hopeless they became. Gosh. Star Riven Master used his best true treasure to perform his most supreme technique. Blood Cloud Palace leader was able to withstand that without even being severely hurt. A sense of hopelessness flooded almost every universe master's mind, even for beings like Skybeak and Godly Master, who were confident that they were Star Riven Master's equals. Let's go. Let's go back. Just go. Just like that. What else can we do? If Star Riven Master can't deal with Blood Cloud Palace Leader, then no one else can. Even Universe Supreme Masters are only slightly stronger than Star Riven Master. In the original universe, the power of Universe Supreme Masters was heavily constrained. What could Universe Supreme Masters do? Heavily injure Blood Cloud Palace Leader? Let's go. The Universe Masters gave up one after another. They all felt helpless. I can't believe Blood Cloud Palace Leader is this powerful. Although Blood Cloud Palace Leader was always powerful. He wasn't as insanely powerful as this. When hunted by beings like Star Riven Master in the past. He would have definitely run away without putting up a fight. It's much more difficult to kill him now. Some universe masters chose to leave. This was how the universe worked. Power determined someone's destiny. No matter how crazy, evil, and reckless someone was, if he could become a universe supreme master, no powers would dare to mess with him, and instead, they would try to butter him up. Like clone universe supreme masters such as Sitting Mountain Guest and Virtual Real Devil Master, they all had weird tempers and might kill anyone at any time. No powers dared to go after them. Why? One didn't even need to be a universe supreme master. Someone at Star River Master was already attractive enough for all the powers in the universe. Obviously, Blood Cloud Palace leader was hardly injured by the supreme technique of Star River Master. Apparently, he was almost at that level. Don't mess with that maniac, don't mess with him. We can't kill him, he's great at fleeing, and he doesn't have any inhibitions. Unless we try to seal him, no powers will be willing to make such sacrifices to do that. After all, Blood Cloud Palace leader is only an individual. He's not related to any powers. One fight determined his status. Blood Cloud Palace leader had gone from a common enemy among the powers in the universe to someone no one was willing to mess with. Actually, there were powers who wanted to admit him, but based on their experience, Blood Cloud Palace leader might kill those who approached him. He was a maniac inside Liuo Feng's god country. Liuo Feng's original plan was to take a tour on the original stars for a longer time, but he didn't expect all those universe masters to leave. And Liuo Feng went out without being noticed. Hong, long, long. The waves were churning like thunder, tumbling through the boundless remote ocean. Above the remote ocean, at the center of his god country and inside the godly palace, Liuo Feng looked down at the god country. I came back. It's done. Liuo Feng smiled. He felt relieved as never before. He recalled the series of incidents starting from virtual real devil master coming after him, which triggered him to kill heavenly flower knight, but he didn't expect him to hide in a flying palace type true treasure. That had led to a bigger incident in which he had killed 8000 universe knights, fought a universe master and killed more than 6,000 universe knights with his miniature universe. After Blood Cloud Palace leader showed himself, it had led to a larger disturbance, distracting everyone. I've achieved my goal. I'm at the same level of Master of Banff, 
Liuo Feng thought, and I performed a supreme technique, I am a universe master, and I am a universe master who's a handful, his only weakness was his inability to control space and time, which might lead to some suspicions, however, it didn't matter, he was able to perform golden light and miniature universe, which showed Liuo Feng had the power of a universe master, at least according to the powers in the universe, besides, Liuo Feng had several bodies, which meant he was extremely difficult to kill, regardless, that star river master is indeed strong, Liuo Feng exclaimed, if I didn't have the shuttle of star tower, that attack would have destroyed half of my godly body, he used the long shuttle to resist it, and then, the power was weakened by force armor, yet he had still lost one five hundredth of his godly body, two moves could kill him, I have a weaker godly body compared to the pinnacle universe masters, and I don't have a stronger enough weapon, Liuo Feng frowned, blood ghost blade is not enough to fight universe masters, a body of sinking fire master had a pair of hammers which was a top tier true treasure, and he wasn't even a top tier universe master, the flame god halberd that flame emperor used was a top tier pinnacle true treasure, which was at the same level of force armor, primal chaos city leader had three bodies, and the most powerful one was the one fighting in universe ocean, and even the one in the original star was the one wearing thousand treasures coat and holding a true treasure stone staff, thousand treasures coat was only a domain type true treasure at the same level as the true treasure of star riven master, as for attacking true treasures, they should be similar, my weapon isn't good enough, thought Liu Feng, ok, teacher said if I killed 10 top tier universe overlords or one universe master, he would make a pinnacle true treasure for me, I need a top tier pinnacle true treasure like flame god halberd, he didn't need a domain type pinnacle true treasure, after all, a top tier pinnacle true treasure weapon was also highly valuable, Liu Feng took out a stone token, teacher, Liu Feng's consciousness entered the token and started to pass the message, the token was an ordinary true treasure made by sitting mountain guest for communications, which made Liu Feng admire sitting mountain guest even more, blood cloud pearl was used for disguise while tokens were used for communications, those, plus force armor and star tower, all had strict requirements for those who used them, the true treasures made by sitting mountain guest were largely different from those born in the universe, a message was conveyed immediately, ha ha, disciple, I've already heard what you did on the original star, but my question is, why did you fight that star riven master, you've intimidated all the powers by doing that, and they won't want to encircle you anymore, Liuo Feng was rendered speechless, if this was the case, no wonder teacher and when he came across beings stronger like star riven master, his teacher was certainly able to create a body to resist star riven master, I didn't think of that, said Liuo Feng, besides, I wouldn't have been able to run away, that's right, you're not good enough for that, sitting mountain guest, while in disguise, was extremely proficient in escaping, why are you contacting me, he asked, teacher, I killed a body of sinking fire master, said Liuo Feng, it should be counted as killing a universe master, you're oversimplifying things, my disciple, said sitting mountain guest, Liuo Feng was speechless, things were not going as he'd expected, of course it doesn't count, said sitting mountain guest, killing a body should be as difficult as killing a real universe master, Liuo Feng tried to argue, of course it's not, said sitting mountain guest, blood cloud palace leader is known for his fierceness, if it weren't for having another body, ordinary universe masters wouldn't even dare to fight you in the first place, as for those who have multiple bodies, they have the guts to take risks even if they're not strong enough, do you really think sinking fire master would fight you if he didn't have another body, Liuo Feng said nothing, he knew he was right, most of the universe masters chasing him were in groups, and those who acted alone had security, no one is such a fool, said sitting mountain guest, it's not as easy as you think to kill a universe master, he only risked it because he had multiple bodies, sitting mountain guest laughed, it won't be so easy to get your teacher to make a pinnacle true treasure for you, Liuo Feng pouted, but it seemed there was nothing he could do, teacher, I killed the body of that sinking fire master and got some true treasures, but I can't exchange them, if I give them to my race, 
my identity will be exposed. Liu Feng was concerned about this. The valuables obtained by Blood Cloud Palace leader were stolen goods, and true treasures with great fame could be identified easily. It would be difficult to exchange them. That's right, said Sitting Mountain Guest. I'll handle it. Come here to exchange for a true treasure. Here are the coordinates of my place. Just come here. The coordinates were sent. Liu Feng looked forward to it. It had been a long time since Sitting Mountain Guest first became his teacher, but he had never been to his home yet. Sure, said Liu Feng. I'll be there as soon as possible. Liu Feng organized his true treasures, left his god country, and took off for the home of Sitting Mountain Guest. Chapter 1129, The True Treasure Vault At an extreme end of the universe, in a deserted domain that was more than 9 billion light years away from humanity, Liu Feng first used God Country Transportation to reach a place nearest to the coordinates he was given. Thereafter, he relied on teleportation. It took him two days, and finally, he arrived at his destination. Teacher, you have been staying here? In his silver armor and silver wings, with his ghost blade slung behind him, Liuo Feng stood amid the dark of space. At one glance, it was pitch black everywhere, without a trace of light, without a single star. There was absolute silence and cold. Void land of the universe? Liuo Feng said to himself. When the universe evolved, galaxies started popping up positioned slightly apart from one another. A great quantity of galaxies would form a star field. The distance between star fields was expansive, and the distance between star sectors was much greater. As for the human domain and other domains, there would be an immeasurable, vast void, a pitch black space that existed between them. Within the universe, these void spaces had diameters ranging from a few hundred million light years to a few billion light years all of which were in complete silence and darkness. With Liuo Feng's powers, his eyesight could not see even the slightest trace of light. One could never imagine how frighteningly immense this void space was. My dear disciple, do come in already, a voice sounded near Liuo Feng's ears. Liuo Feng turned right away. Hwa, a dazzling, elegant, exquisite bridge appeared. The entire bridge seemed to be made of transparent crystal stones and bathed in gold. Liu Feng flew over immediately and landed on the bridge and made his way to the other end. The walk along the bridge enabled him to feel the intense change of space at once. Huh? Liu Feng immediately checked the universe coordinates and was shocked to discover that with every step he took on the bridge, he moved 10 million light years. From this end of the bridge to the other. The universe coordinates had shifted 1.2 billion light years. At the other end of the bridge, was an exquisite looking lake where all kinds of fish frolicked in the water. This isn't right, said Liuo Feng. He turned to take a look behind him. Previously, the bridge had only seemed to be around 300 feet long, but he had traveled 1.2 billion light years. The lake before him was also of a diameter, a few hundred feet. But according to what his godly powers sensed, this was neither a lake nor were those fish in it. It was a domain type true treasure that wields extremely strong power. Walking along the lake, he saw flower beds and grassy patches. This isn't right, Liuo Feng repeated, taking a closer look. Those stalks of grass were actually huge, ancient trees with little stones adorned around them. They were actually metallic materials that were as big as a star level. Amazing. The control of universe space is unbelievably incredible, Liuo Feng mused to himself as he walked. His teacher's residence was very quiet. As for that exquisite palace and lake, they were actually a flying palace type true treasure and a domain type true treasure, respectively. As for the other items, there were various sorts of precious materials. Entering the palace, Liuo Feng came to a garden where he saw sitting mountain guest holding a stone and caressing it with his eyes closed. Teacher Liuo Feng went to him and bowed deferentially. Sitting mountain guest opened his eyes and put the stone aside. Smiling at Liuo Feng, he commented, You made it here quite fast. Teacher, this place is too deserted. Otherwise, I would have arrived much earlier. Liuo Feng also smiled. Teacher, why have you chosen such a place as your residence? 
the quiet, sitting mountain guest said, and this void space is of a diameter that is more than 100 million light years, although it is devoid of anything and incomparably deserted, it is unfit for humans to live and multiply their numbers, but I am a lone wanderer, so this place, on the contrary, is good for me, besides, this is only one of the many places where I live when I am in the primal universe, oh yes, where are those stolen goods you took? What do you mean by stolen goods? said Liu Feng. Liu Feng had no other alternative but to take everything sinking fire master owned, the pair of godly hammers, his armor, and the green seed. Sitting mountain guest looked, what are you after? A pinnacle true treasure blade, Liu Feng replied. He took out a pair of godly hammers that were top tier true treasures. Their powers could be combined when required. There was also the armor, which was also a top tier true treasure, and the green seed, which was merely an ordinary soul type true treasure, to the humans, it was worth 60 true treasure points which was close to the value of a top tier true treasure weapon, not enough, sitting mountain guest looked at Liu Feng, I will not take advantage of you, I will definitely offer you a price that is 30% less than what you would need to pay to exchange for a true treasure within the race, but this, this is obviously not enough, add in this ghost blade, Liu Feng took out ghost blade that was slung across his back, since he was going to trade for a blade, this ghost blade would no longer be required, sitting mountain guest still shook his head, teacher, Liu Feng said, glaring, I only have this one pinnacle true treasure blade, sitting mountain guest said, although it may not be a pinnacle true treasure of the highest grade, these few true treasures you have here are really still not enough, Liu Feng frowned, the true treasures he had with him were all in use and those that were being used were stored in the treasure room at Blood Cloud Palace. Sinking Fire Master might have owned several ordinary true treasures, but Liu Feng had categorized those and returned them to Blood Cloud Palace. After all, he did owe the treasure room in Blood Cloud Palace quite a few pieces of treasures. Oh! Right. Within Sinking Fire Master's world ring, there is one senior true treasure and a token of Zhenchang Valley. Add these two. Liu Feng took out a green and gold medallion and the crystal token of Zhenchang Valley. A token of Zhenchang Valley? Sitting mountain guest looked and laughed. Well, I have been quite bored recently. Heading to Zhenchang Valley for an adventure sounds good. All right, add on these two. We can barely make it now, teacher. You are really going to Zhenchang Valley? Liu Feng eyes widened. The birth of Zhenchang Valley was a treasure the level of Blade Drivel Luo, and it was yet to be completed. Liu Feng had a disambiguation mirror stone, so he was looking forward to the disambiguation temple more. He was not as eager to get into Zhenchang Valley, just to get a pinnacle true treasure weapon. Going to Zhenchang Valley was not a great deal, but this was a pinnacle true treasure weapon and it was comparable to Blade River Luo. Why am I not allowed to? Sitting Mountain Guest stood up. Life is long. We have to find some pleasures to get us by. Sitting Mountain Guest walked as far as he shouted, still not coming. Don't you want your true treasure blade? Luo Feng hurriedly followed behind. They came to a palace hall that was decorated in a unique manner. All the walls within the hall were filled with a large quantity of sculptures and every sculpture was engraved with many different patterns. There was a pattern that depicted a scene of two great beings fighting a battle on the vast plains. There was also a pattern that depicted a scene of a great being killing a large number of other great beings. The patterns all exuded some kind of ancient aura and power, causing the entire palace hall to be enshrouded in a strange atmosphere. Feels as though I am on a battlefield. Liu Feng was in the palace hall feeling his heart set ablaze as he felt the impulse to fight and kill. He was appalled as he realized, my willpower can feel the influence. This palace hall is filled with true treasures, said sitting mountain guest, including the decorative items, all of them are true treasures. Majority of them are, however, just ordinary true treasures. Liu Feng's eyes scanned everything around him. There were many display cases and shelves in the hall and on them were knives, blades, strings, ropes, shuttles, maces, hammers, axes, clocks, pagodas, boats, balls, flowers, grass, cloths, medallions, statues, cubes, 
all sort of items, strange and bizarre, numbering as many as a few thousand, scattered throughout the hall. All these all true treasures? Luo Feng was taken aback. All of these are, even the items used to contain things are. Sitting Mountain Guest smiled. Ordinary true treasures were made easily and effortlessly, so to me, they do not really have much value. Like that transmission token, ornaments, decorative ornaments, and many others. All of these are just ordinary true treasures. Luo Feng went speechless at such wonders. Even craftsman master would not be able to make such statements. Only sitting mountain guest was qualified enough to dare say that ordinary true treasures were made so effortlessly. So, which is mine? Luo Feng asked. In that corner, sitting mountain guest pointed to a far away corner. Luo Feng looked to where sitting mountain guest was pointing and saw the seemingly ordinary blade in a corner of the room. He walked over right away. The scabbard was a dusty gray, and on it were some sculptures that looked beautiful. The moment Luo Feng reached out to touch it, he felt the presence of an evil spirit that was so overwhelming that it invaded his body instantly. Hong, within the vast, black space, a blade several tens of thousands of miles long hung suspended horizontally in midair. The blade was slowly being drawn out of the sheath, and the frightening evil spirit seemed to continuously invade Luo Feng's willpower. Glang, the blade was completely unsheathed, a murderous intention whirled up in the air and spread all over. At this moment, Luo Feng's life imprint stored within his godly power was completely branded onto the blade. The blade shall be called, Absolute Guest. Luo Feng whispered, Use this for now, Sitting Mountain Guest said. This blade should be more than enough for you. Of course, what would suit you best would be a pinnacle true treasure blade that is made with your golden horn world stone as its core. All the limitless essence of gold in the world within your body converge to form a golden horn world stone. Once made into a weapon, it would be the most suitable one for you. The materials required were exceptionally more than usual, and you are still unable to provide me with those yet. Golden horn world stone? Luo Feng's eyes lit up. So. Teacher did have his plans. Golden Horn World Stone is the convergence of the limitless essence of gold in the world within your body that was trillions of miles large. It is an extreme limit of the metallic materials within the primal universe. At least, within the primal universe, it was one of the top tier metals. Only at Universe Ocean can you find something better than that. But, judging from your body, Using Golden Horn World Stone to make a weapon would be the most suitable for you. Luo Feng immediately asked, What are the materials I need? After you have killed a Universe Master or ten top tier Universe Overlords, then we shall talk about it, Sitting Mountain Guest said. This pinnacle true treasure blade, Absolute Guest, is one treasure I expended a lot of hard work and effort to make. Don't let it down. Luo Feng nodded. All right. You should get going. Sitting Mountain Guest was not one to hold Luo Feng back. Yes. Since teacher had said so, Luo Feng gave a bow and left quickly. Looking on until Luo Feng was out of sight, Sitting Mountain Guest returned to his seat in the garden and picked up the same piece of stone. Looking down at it, he sighed softly. When is the time I can further improve? Luo Feng had barely returned to his god country and was just getting started in familiarizing himself with the pinnacle true treasure blade absolute guest, which was extremely powerful. It was then that he received mail from Primal Chaos City Leader, who was in the virtual universe. Luo Feng, Blade River Master, regarding what happened on the original star, why didn't you come to me? Don't you know that the universe masters of humanity have not taken a break because of you? Come over here as soon as you can. The moment he read the mail, Luo Feng's eyes lit up and his heart started beating faster and faster. Of course, he should have guessed that what happened on the original stars would cause the higher ups of humanity to commence with urgent meetings to discuss his actions. Now that teacher had summoned him, it seemed a concluding decision had been made. Teacher called me Blade River Master? Luo Feng could not be bothered with anything else and immediately let his consciousness connect to the virtual universe. Chapter 1130 Meeting of Six Tycoons At the apex of Thunder Island in the virtual universe, the giant, 
round graphite table was surrounded by endless airflow. There were six gigantic stone chairs around the table, each with complex sculptures on it. On the table were also numerous sculptures. Teacher, said Liu Feng. Take a seat. Primal Chaos City leader sat down and pointed to the second chair on his left hand side. Sit there. Sure. Liu Feng sat down and took a look at the stone table in front of him. He was curious as he never knew there was a place like this in his teacher's palace, and it was floating right above the palace of Primal Chaos City leader. He glanced at the sculptures on the stone table. One of the pictures depicted three great beings saluting a great being. One depicted a great being doing mass slaughtering, and one depicted how two great beings attacked a group of great beings. The sculptures were abstract, but Liu Feng could tell that one was Primal Chaos City Leader. And there's my chair. Liu Feng sat down after he noticed the sculpture on the back of the chair. There were several scenes in the sculptures. One of them depicted an individual facing thousands of beings, another depicted a huge oval enveloping all those thousands of beings and they all died under that dome. You should have figured it out by now. Primal Chaos City leader looked at Liu Feng with a grinning face. The seniors of the human race decided that you're the 19th universe master of the human race. Liu Feng couldn't help be overjoyed at first. And then, he was a bit confused. The 19th one? That meant the human race had 18 universe masters in total before Liu Feng became one. That meant the human race had a great number of universe masters comparatively. The bug race and automaton race might only have fewer than 10 universe masters, and the demon race might have around the same number. Yes. Primal Chaos City leader nodded, but according to my information, Liu Feng looked confused. He had the access authority of a top tier universe master, and he should have been able to get information about the universe masters of the human race and other powers in the universe, based on the information he had on hand. There were only 15 universe masters in the human race. Why was he the 19th? You know of 15, right? Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. Each power has some secrets, and there are some hidden universe masters within our race. There are 18 universe masters in total in our human race, excluding you. There are 5 from the Virtual Universe Company and Hugh Jack Stojo, 3 from the Universe Mercenary Alliance, 3 from the Universe First Bank and two from Universe Star River Bank. Liu Feng listened carefully. What Primal Chaos City Leader had just said was different from what he knew. He knew there were only four in the Virtual Universe Company, so apparently, one was in the shadows the whole time. Of course, if we include you, there are six in total, now. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. You're the first disciple of mine to become a universe master. Ha ha ha. I have an edge at this in front of my brother now. Brother? Liu Feng couldn't help asking. You have a brother? Two, actually, said Primal Chaos City Leader. They are both universe masters, and there are lots of other brothers who are not universe masters. Liu Feng nodded. He also had lots of brothers. Wait. If there are brothers, there must be a teacher. Primal Chaos City Leader had two brothers who were Universe Masters, which meant that teacher had three disciples who were Universe Masters. Who was he? Let me introduce you to the Universe Masters of my Virtual Universe Company. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. The first one is Long Yan Master. He's an elder in my Virtual Universe Company. And he's been a universe master for a very long time. You've met him before. Liu Feng nodded. The second one, also my brother, is Ice Mountain Master. He's very aloof, but he's great at handling the important issues. Liu Feng knew of this Ice Mountain Master, too. He was a great being proficient in close combat, and he was one of the pinnacle universe masters as well. He was only slightly weaker than Primal Chaos City Leader and he might have been stronger than Flame Emperor. The third one, also my brother, is Darkness Master. He's rarely involved with the issues of the human race, and he hardly ever shows up. Few know of him, and he's a very low-key disciple of our teacher. Without letting anyone know, he has become a Universe Master. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. Liu Feng was startled. Darkness Master. He'd never heard of him. Even the powers of the universe don't know about him, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Of course, 
Darkness Master is well known in the universe ocean, and he's a terrifying universe master, ha ha. The powers in the universe don't even know that Darkness Master is of the human race when they run into him in the universe ocean. The fourth one is Remote Lord Master said Primal Chaos City Leader. He's the youngest of the five universe masters in the virtual universe company before you joined. And he's a disciple of Darkness Master. Ah, Liu Feng was startled. Remoteness Lord Master was also a reckless universe master who was great in killing and combat. Of course, he was weaker than Ice Mountain Master and Primal Chaos City Leader, but he was also a strong universe master. He was at the same level as the previous Blood Cloud Palace leader, and he was a disciple of Darkness Master. My brother's disciple became a universe master, and now, my disciple has also become a universe master. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. From now on, there will be six universe masters in the virtual universe. Okay. I'll call the four of them here now. The universe masters of the virtual universe should gather first. Liu Feng nodded. There were several groups in the human race, and the virtual universe was a group itself. However, the group had significant power, as Primal Chaos City Leader and Ice Mountain Master were both top tier universe masters. Long Yan Master was not much weaker. As for Darkness Master, he was mysterious and probably rivaled Primal Chaos City Leader. Although Remote Lord Master was a youngster, he was also powerful. Liu Feng was as strong as Remote Lord Master, without Star Tower. Of course, Liu Feng sat there and waited. A being walked in. He was lanky and had a horn on both of his ears. There was an eye between the eyebrows, and he wore scaled navy armor. He didn't wear his Remote Lord bayonet as he was in the virtual universe. Liu Feng recognized him immediately and stood up. Remote Lord Master. Liu Feng. Remote Lord Master looked fierce, but he was still smiling when he saw Liu Feng. Remote Lord Master, Liu Feng said again, smiling. Uncle. Remote Lord Master bowed to Primal Chaos City Leader to show respect but didn't bow low. After all, he was a universe master. Sit said Primal Chaos City Leader. Interesting. Another being walked in. That towering body and the dragon tail. It was Long Yan Master. I haven't seen the universe masters from the Hugh Jack Stojo that upset for a long time. Long Yan Master sat down and gave Liu Feng a nod. Liu Feng. You were really impressive on that original star when you killed more than 6,000 universe knights in one strike. We calculated that each alliance lost at least one domain type pinnacle true treasure. Liu Feng shook his head. I could have done better. I should have fought Master of Banfu for a longer time so that more universe knights went into the zone. Long Yan Master and Remote Lord Master were at first dazed, then started to guffaw. Suddenly, a sense of coldness permeated. It was a silver-haired man carrying a blade on his back. He wore ancient armor with bloodstains on it, and he was the most handsome universe master in the virtual universe company. It was Ice Mountain Master. Ice Mountain Master nodded at Primal Chaos City Leader and sat down. He glanced at Long Yan Master, Liu Feng, and Remote Lord Master, and they all nodded at him. So cold? Liuo Feng thought. Suddenly, a being walked in from the distance, and before they could see clearly who he was, a wicked, dark force permeated. He wore a black coat outside and silver and black armor inside. He was bald, and his skin was like jade. There were complex black engravings on his head, and he gazed at people like a snake extending his tongue. Even space and time were affected by him, trapped in a strange atmosphere. Brother, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Brother, said Darkness Master. Liu Feng was startled. He suddenly realized the difference between his teacher Primal Chaos City Leader and Darkness Master. Primal Chaos City Leader looked peaceful and tranquil while Darkness Master was endlessly dark and wicked. They had exactly the opposite aura, and their power was at the same level. No wonder, thought Liu Feng. He's Darkness Master. Darkness Master stood in his chair and looked at Liu Feng. Brother, is this your disciple? Liu Feng. 